Welcome to Affinity Designer. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use artistic text, frame text, and shape text in a design. I'll work from this partially complete travel agency poster and start by adding artistic text to the agency's logo. On the Tools panel, select the Artistic Text tool and click on the page to create the artistic text object. Then simply type the name of the agency, for example, Talk Travel. The default font does not complement the current logo very well, so I'll press the Escape key to pull out of text editing mode, but leave the text object selected. Then on the context toolbar, I'll change the font using this pop-up menu, and then change the colour using the swatches panel. If I switch back to the Move tool, I can reposition the text object by dragging and resize it using this option on the Context toolbar. To edit the text again, I simply double click when the text object is selected and make my edits. I moved the word Travel onto a new line using the Return key and then adjusted the paragraph leading on the Context toolbar. When I'm happy with the design, I can move the logo text into the logo group by dragging the object, like so, on the Layers panel. Next, we'll add a title to our poster. Again, we'll use artistic text. So select the artistic text tool from the Tools panel, or simply press the T key. This time, drag on your page to define the size of the text object. You'll see that Designer remembers the last font used and will give you this font again for consistency. Type the poster's title, such as Beach and Beyond, and press Escape to withdraw from text editing mode, and then press the V key to quickly switch to the Move tool. On the Swatches panel, set the colour of the text, and then you can rotate and reposition the text. You can also resize it using the selection handles. Note that the side handles will resize the object disproportionately, while the corner handles will resize the object proportionally. If you intend on adding full sentences or paragraphs, it may be better for you to use frame text instead of artistic text. To create frame text, Click the grey arrow next to the Artistic Text Tool icon on the Tools panel and select the Frame Text Tool icon from the pop-up menu. Then drag across your page. A text frame will be created and when you finish dragging, a blinking carré will be visible to enable you to start typing. Alternatively, you can fill it with placeholder text by using the Insert Filler Text option on the text menu. If you have text copy available externally, you can paste it in using the command on the Edit menu, or import it using the Insert Text from File option on the text menu. If you resize the text frame using the side or corner handles, you will see that text reflows rather than resizing. If you're using real text, the text will overflow or leave the text frame with empty areas. If you're using filler text, Designer will add or remove text to fill the frame. You may have noticed this extra handle here, which extends from the text frame. If you drag this handle, the text inside will not reflow, but will resize to match the frame size. If you triple click inside the text frame to select all the text, you can then update text attributes from the context toolbar or the colour from the swatches panel. Again, you can use the move tool to reposition and resize the text frame object. So last on the list is shape text. And this is created, not surprisingly, by starting with a shape. The shape can be created in many different ways, 
but for this video I'm simply going to select the ellipse tool and create a circle in the centre of this bubble by holding down the command and shift keys. There are two ways to convert this shape to a shape text frame. Either press the T key to toggle to the frame text tool or select it from the tools panel and position the cursor over the shape and click once when you see the cursor change to a pentagon with a T inside. Or from the layer menu select convert to text frame. You can then add text and format it in ways that I've previously described in this video. If you're interested in finding out more about text, including using text on a path and open type features, check out our comprehensive help system and other tutorials available from the help menu. Thanks for watching.